Welcome to Bud's Smart Home. I'm Bud, and I'm pleased that you stopped by. Today, we're diving into a powerful new widget for your HomiePro dashboard, the Enhanced Device Widget app. This app takes your dashboard to the next level, giving you real-time control and status updates for your smart home devices. By the end of this video, you'll know how to unlock the full potential of this widget, install and configure it like a pro, and set up two powerful elements that are provided within the widget. These elements include the Enhanced Device Widget, which is a consolidated display for all your device's capabilities, and a Status Display Widget, which is a dynamic tile that updates based on your Homey Pro flow. This app is the brainchild of Adrian Rockall, who is an absolute legend in the Homey Pro community. Adrian currently has over 13 community apps as evidence of his ambition to make our smart homes even smarter. If you've loved what he's created, consider showing your appreciation. There is a donate button next to his name in the App Store. As we begin reviewing today's content, be aware that all the links mentioned in this video have been provided in the description below. Be sure to check them out. Let's begin with an explanation of the first element in Adrian's Enhanced Device Widget app, and that is the Enhanced Device. So what exactly is an enhanced device? This widget provides ultimate control of your multi-capability devices. It neatly organizes all of your device's capabilities in a single tile. Let's use as an example the Aotech Zigbee multi-purpose sensor. This sensor has multiple capabilities. It isn't just a contact sensor. It also detects temperature changes, monitors vibrations, and tracks X, Y, and Z vector movements, which is why it's commonly used as a tilt sensor. When applying Adrian's Enhanced Widget to this sensor, all of these device capabilities are combined and presented into a single display. Even better, if the sensor has capabilities that are controllable, like a light switch or a dimmer, you can adjust device settings directly from the widget. The second element within Adrian's Enhanced Device Widget app is the Status Display Tile. This second element works in conjunction with the Homey Flow to create a visual representation of status changes in your home. Although there are countless use applications for this type of widget, allow me to show you how I've set mine up. When the Flow changes my security mode to Disarm, the tile then turns green and displays the text Disarm Mode On. When my flow changes my security mode to Arm, the tile changes to red and displays the text Armed Mode On. This instant visual cue helps you to see the status of your home security mode at a glance without digging into menus. Stick around as I walk you through the easy installation and setup of this new widget. As I take you through the process, keep in mind that this widget is still in the development stage. As such, there may be some improvements that occur from the date of this production to the date that you're watching this content. So let's start with sourcing and installing the Enhanced Device Widget app on your Homey Pro Hub. After that, I'll show you how to create the Enhanced Device Widget, which will allow you to display all of your device's capabilities. We'll then create a Status Display Widget and a simple homey flow to show you real-time status updates. I already have the search bar populated with the enhanced device widget, so I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, and you'll see that the enhanced device widget pops up with Adrian Rockwell's name. If you click on that widget, you're going to see that donate button here that I referenced earlier, and I encourage you again to express your appreciation to Adrian for his efforts on this fantastic widget. Before we get into the installation, let's briefly look at what's available with the app. So you have the flow card here, and uh, there's just the single flow card. And this is used to set the status of the tile that you create on the uh, status tile. So there's two widgets available within this single app. One is the enhanced device, which I mentioned previously, and the other one is the status display device. When you go to install this, I would not recommend that you click on the Install App button here. If you do that, you are going to get the current stable version 1.1.11. I would 
advise that you open this change log and that you clicked on this test version. That's the one I'm using in this example. This is the most recent version. And uh, if you click on that, it'll give you a warning here that this app might not work properly, that uh, this version is currently being tested. I can assure you that based on my use of it, it it's working very well. So I would suggest you go ahead and install either this version or whatever this is the latest version when you watch this video. You'll simply click on this green install app. And then when you, once you do that, you also need to click on this green install button as well. And it advises that the enhanced widget will be installed shortly. So you can go ahead and close on out of there. Okay, let's go ahead and go into our dashboard and I'll show you how to get this all set up. So here we are in the Homey uh, Pro home screen. I'm going to go ahead and tap on dashboards. And you see I've been working on uh, setting up some rooms in here. And by the way, I do have all of my devices in Homey, but I'm doing that via Adrian's SmartThings 2 app. I made a video on this. You can actually import all SmartThings devices into Homey Pro, and they function as if they were directly added as devices. So it's really nice, and I can control everything from within Homey. I encourage you to look at that if that's something you're interested in. This gives you a chance to kind of experiment with Homey and be able to control your devices. Let's go into the main screen. I'll just show you around here a little bit. This main screen, looks at all of my security settings, gives me a glance of my exterior doors, active zones, the sec current security mode, alarms, leak sensors, and also all of my lighting throughout the house. So it's a nice kind of central dashboard. The rest of the dashboards are various rooms. Each room is set up identically as far as the left and right columns are concerned. I have the same information. The only difference from room to room is the center panel here contains all of the devices specific to that room. Then on the, if I slide over and look at the detail, I have used the enhanced device widgets for those devices that have multi-functions. I've brought some of those in there so I can see more detail. You can see my Echo Show, the Hall Light with all its features. I also have the status display tile for the security mode. So you can, currently you can see disarmed is on. If I hit arm stay, that changes that tile to armed and changes the background to red. And let's go back to disarm. It goes back to green. So there you see that tile in action. Let's go back to the main screen. If I go to another room, you will see like for instance, the living room. Again, the two outside panels, the left and right panels, are the same format, and the center of the dashboard has all of the devices specific to the living room. One other thing I, I should mention is that if you're viewing your dashboard on a phone, you're gonna only see one of these columns at a time. So you'll see the left column, it goes from left to right. You'll see the left column first, then the middle column, then the column on the right, and then if you have additional columns like I have, you'll see them in the fourth, fifth, and sixth position. So with that explanation, let's go to my studio where I am currently, and uh, I'm gonna swipe across. I have minimal information in here because I wanna show you how to set up the enhance widget, and then after that, I'll show you how to set up the green status display tile. Let's go ahead and hit edit at the top of the screen in the upper right. Let's add a widget. And you wanna go under add widget, you wanna to go to apps. So I'm gonna click on apps and then scroll down and you'll see the enhanced device widget there with the two different elements. So we're gonna add the enhanced device element first. I always turn off the title, the title you see currently is Enhanced Device. We don't need that, so I'm gonna turn that off. The next thing under Custom is Device. We'll tap on that. First device I'm gonna add is in my kitchen, and it is the kitchen multi-purpose sensor. It has a lot of capabilities, so we'll add that one. I'm gonna leave en Enable Edit Mode 
as yes, because, and I'll show you why we're going to eventually turn that off. I always leave read mode to no, and dense layout I typically change to yes, but we're going to leave it as no temporarily. I'm going to add this widget and show you what it looks like. So here you see the widget with all the capabilities. I want to point out that the temperature is not correct. It's the one hiccup that I had with bringing devices over from SmartThings. The temperature conversion is not correct. I have advised Adrian about that and he's looking at that to see if there's a remedy to fix that. So we have all these vectors uh, listed in there which I don't want. So I'm going to edit those out. I'm going to show you how to do that. We'll hit done. Hit the edit tile. That allows me to edit the devices that I include in this tile. And I want to eliminate the X, Y, and Z vectors. So I'm going to tap on those three and then uncheck the edit box. And now you see I just have four items listed in my box. Now I want to eliminate the edit. I also want to make this tile a little more compact in the uh, app. It's called Dense. So to do that, I'm going to hit edit again at the top right. I'm going to select the three dots on the tile. Hit edit widget. I'm going to change dense layout to yes, which we've done. And I'm also going to disable the edit mode. Change it from yes to no. And I'm going to save that change. Now you see that the tile is much more compact. Looks very nice. If I hit done, it's a very clean tile. So let's edit again. Let's add another widget. And this time we're going to add a living room lamp that has a smart bulb in it that's uh, RGBW. So let's go to apps. Let's scroll down and find the enhanced device widget. And we'll tap on enhanced device. I'm going to turn the title off. I'm going to select the device and it is a living room lamp. So we'll select that. I'll turn off edit mode because I know I don't need to edit that. And let's change uh, dense layout to yes. So we'll turn that on and let's add that widget. So there you have the lamp. And if I hit done, I have the ability to control this lamp. I can turn it on or off and I can adjust these sliders as well. Change the color, temperature, hue and saturation and so on. So with those two enhanced widgets in place, let me show you how we can add a, this status display widget. Uh, so to do that, we hit the edit again, hit add a device, go to apps, scroll down to enhanced device widget. This time we're going to select status display. We'll tap on that. I don't want to show the title, so I'm going to turn that off. Each status display tile has a unique ID. Use that ID in a advanced flow so that you can identify which tile you're referring to. The security tile that I already have on the screen is assigned 001. So I'm going to assign this one a ID of 002 and we're going to hit return and back. So we have the widget ID 002. I'm going to select yes for the dense layout. There are some other options here as well. The hide dismiss cross and the show refresh icon to update the widget. I usually hide the cross that is to reset the, the tile. I don't want a refresh icon on there, so we'll leave that on no. And you can change the height of the, the tile. I typically leave it as this default. I find that is acceptable. So let's go ahead and uh, add the widget. Okay, and you're going to see this show up as no notifications. We'll hit done because we don't have a flow tied to it. So we need to go to the Homey Pro web app so that we can set up the advanced flow. So I'm going to go into the flow that controls this security display and we're going to add a tile and what we're going to do is that when this lamp is turned on 
we're going to uh, have a tile show up that's yellow with some text in it and when the lamp turns off we're going to have that tile turn gray so let's go ahead and get that set up so I've already signed in to my web app I'm going to go to flows and security and security status display flow so this is the existing flow that controls that security status tile and basically when my home is disarmed then I have the background change green and I have text say disarm mode on and here you see I told you previously that I used a ID of 001 and I have that in both tiles so when the home is armed uh, then this changes the tile to red and says arm mode on and then for both cases I have set the text color to black okay so in order to set up the additional tile that I just added in the dashboard we need to add another one of these cards from the enhanced device widget to do that we're going to right click add and we're going to select then because this is the result of a trigger so we find the enhanced device widget here and then we just click on the tile to add it so we're going to actually need two tiles i'm going to create the first one remember our widget id that i assigned to it was 002 and we'll hit enter and i'm going to call this uh test let's make that all caps and status text we're going to say this is a test and for the background color we're going to make it as i stated a yellow bright yellow that's good and text color we will make it black all right that's first tile we need a second tile so when the lamp turns off we change the background to gray so I'm going to duplicate that and we'll just simply change the yellow to a gray color that looks pretty good and we'll leave the text color black and we'll change the text in here that says test test finished okay now we need to add the trigger device as I, as I mentioned previously we're going to use that living room lamp so when the lamp turns on the tile turns yellow when the lamp turns off it uh, turns gray so let's go ahead and add that tile add when because this will be our trigger and we'll go to inside first floor living room and we'll select the living room lamp and we're going to select turned off that'll be down here so we'll just duplicate this and then replace and change select turned on so when the living room lamp is turned on I want that tile to be yellow and when it's turned off I want the tile to turn gray let's save this okay and let's go back into the dashboard here one thing to point out even though we created a flow if you don't have an event the tile will remain at no notifications then once an event occurs then it should change so let's go ahead and turn the lamp on and see if the tile works as planned here so yes it lights up yellow and says this is a test let's turn the lamp off and yes it says test is finished so i think you'll agree that the enhance widget app is a spectacular addition to the homey dashboard let me know in the comments if this widget is something you'd like to use in your setup also let me know what homey topics i should cover next your feedback is really appreciated and will help me shape future videos hey thanks for watching today and i'll see you in the next one